Hi Capricorn. So I got a couple cards out here from this Oracle deck that I'm using. It's called Morgan's Tarot. It's not a tarot, it's an Oracle though, and it's kind of weird, okay? And the cards I got out for you is doubt, and on this card is kind of a circular thought that doesn't really make sense to emphasize the doubt. It says your doubt is your faith if necessary in your particular case, perhaps. <laughs> okay, so there's doubt, a ball or a ball and curves. And this one says, be careful going around curves. Be careful going around curves. So what I'm feeling Capricorn is either you or somebody you're very close to, you're thinking about or someone in your life is about to make a big move here, a big decision, but they're second guessing whether it is a good idea because I feel like there's a fear that they might get caught off guard. It's like somebody wants to do something but they don't want to be taken by surprise by the other person's response. Okay? So I I'm not sure <laughs> what this is about, you know, in what area of your life. So apply it as it resonates. We're going to get into the tarot. I'm going to do a general spread for you. Now, this is a tarot card reading here on YouTube. So if it doesn't resonate with you, that's cool. Uh, you could check out your other placements or not. You know, maybe it's just not your reading. Maybe I'm not your reader. Who knows? <laughs> okay. So um, if it does resonate, there will be an extended. And I'll make that link available in the description box below. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Andy. And if you're returning, hi. So nice to see you again and feel you again. Feel your vibe. So nice to have you back. Thanks for all your support, Capricorn. I really appreciate it. You don't have to be a sun sign, Capricorn, to have this resonate. Okay, let's get into it. I'm feeling like, I don't know. It's an interesting vibe. It's like really good, positive, beautiful energy. But then it's like something else is going on here. And it feels like you're very aware of it. Maybe you're not letting it get you down. Let's see what we get here. Maybe I should clarify this a little bit more. Let me clarify this a little bit more. <laughs> Tell me more about this message. King of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so this is some plan that's been in in action for some time or ready to be put into action for some time justice Ooh, ten of wands somebody here has been carrying a burden here what's the burden nine of wands they've been going at something for quite some time looking for some results here fighting for something fighting for a connection fighting to heal fighting for a job fighting to be heard whatever it is there's perseverance and that's driving this person whether that's you or someone else to take action with the king of wands and this is not just an impulsive kind of decision which sounds more like you right this sounds like it would be your energy there's a lot of planning detail and effort that's been put in you could be dealing with someone who has a lot of capricorn in their chart too but this is the whatever is going to happen here or whatever's being planned is one to invoke a sense of justice two of cups Let me see here. What is the action? What is the action? Spirit, tell me more about this action. Queen of Wands. Okay, I've got the King and Queen of Wands. I just saw the Two of Cups. Four of Wands and the Six of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Okay, so this is definitely a story I'm getting three of swords it's like nine of cups somebody wants to um it's interesting it's like someone wants to bring something back together like reconcile a certain energy there's a big drive to do this but at the same time it feels very doubtful. It's like whoever is planning to, to create some kind of reconciliation or come back together is like just doesn't really believe it's going to work out. They're holding back. Even though they've put a lot of thought into this. I 
can't, I've got to find out more here. They want to have a victory. Three of Wands. Whoever this is doesn't know, I feel like, where the other person stands, the lovers, the fool. And if that other person has taken up a new direction in their life. Okay, Capricorn, I do feel like this is some kind of interpersonal connection here. So rather than doing like a general tarot reading that looks at, you know, a major accomplishment and all those kinds of things, I'm going to get more into like how they're seeing you, what they're feeling, so that you can get some clear answers here. I'm hearing there's two sides to every story. I don't know if I should do, well, let's do a, yeah, okay. <laughs> let's find out here the energies of this person coming towards Capricorn or that Capricorn's going towards. Now you're gonna have to switch it up depending on how it resonates, okay? Like I might say it's them, but it could be you. So uh, do that for yourself. All right, here. Let's see, Capricorn. I'm hearing incoming. <laughs> incoming. I'm hearing Venus and Mars, and we know they're conjunct, and they're conjunct in Capricorn. I think right, I, is it today that they're squaring Neptune? I think so. Which could be like, yeah, it could be a fear. It could be not wanting to go forward with something related to lo love or war. I'm hearing love or war because there's a fear here of the unknown. Knight of Wands and the moon. Exactly. Like, I mean, this is exactly what I just said. <laughs> okay. So let's get nine cards out here, Spirit. Tell me about the past energy here between these two people or two energies. It could be a workplace situation. Tell me the past. Current energy. How this other person is seeing Capricorn. How they're seeing the situation. How they feel about Capricorn. Their intentions. Ooh. What Capricorn should know. What Capricorn should know. Advice. Ooh, wow, Capricorn, what is this? Uh, and the outcome. The outcome's the tower. I'm I feel <laughs> ten of wands again at the bottom. Eight of Cups. This is some situation that, that has with the Eight of Cups there, that somebody has um, walked away from, and it looks like there's a return of some energy, possibly. Now, this is as the energy stand right now. Whoever's planned to make a move might not make that move because they're clearly, they clearly have doubts here about doing that. So this is as the energy stands now. Things can change because we all have free will. In the past, we have Page of Pentacles. I feel like this is someone who had a choice here, which is, this is an interesting illustration for the Page of Pentacles, seeing two pentacles here. And with that knife, it's like, which one are you gonna cut down and take with you? So somebody had an important choice to make but things were left hanging in the balance for some time here. The reason why it took so long for a choice to be made or a decision to be made here, or seemed like there was hesitation, is because the person, whoever this is, didn't really know what to do. They didn't know what to do. They didn't have the life experience. They didn't have the knowledge. They were perhaps doubtful of what that move would do they chose one person over another, if they chose this lifestyle over that, that job over this, you know? The current energy here, shared energy, is strength. And this is why someone's coming back around the bend or has been planning for some time, is because they're gaining courage here and wisdom, I'm hearing. And 
wisdom? What's the wisdom? What's the wisdom that's been gained by this person? What's the wisdom? The sun in reverse. Temperance. I was just going to say, it feels like somebody has been sick, actually. Like, physically, or maybe it's a metaphor. I don't know. But something's happened in someone's life. Could be depression. It could be some other kind of physical ailment. With temperance and the sun in reverse. It's like a loss of vitality and a need for healing here. And that put things in perspective for this person. Or they've gained some strength now. They're healing from something and becoming stronger. This definitely could be like coming out of a phase of depression. Or some kind of other pain, sickness. But that's somehow involved here in the decision that's being made. How they're viewing the situation, I just saw 111, is, and I'm seeing uh, like, yeah, I'm seeing 1111 here with the four, four wands. This is very interesting. It's the seven of wands, but, oh, I see. I was looking at it as like going straight through, but there's four here and three down there. That's interesting. So it's almost like a 1111 situation, which if you don't know what that means, it could be like a divine partnership or a divine situation, something that's maybe meant to be. Okay. Um, it's almost like that, but not quite, you know, that's how this person is viewing the situation. Like, yeah, there's doubt. Is this really a divine situation? Is this really meant to be here? Ace of swords, ace of pentacles, ace of cups. Holy shit. <laughs> Okay, what's that about? <laughs> Why so many aces here? Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's waited a long time here to make this move. It's like they're under they have a new understanding of happiness after feeling betrayed. Now, this could be you, Capricorn, like deciding to move away from someone, or it could be you deciding to go towards someone or something, you know, take it as it resonates here, or it could be them, but it's like there was pain here in the past, a painful ending, and then that created a lot of hard work for someone to put themselves, I'm hearing, back in gear, back on top, to find out really what it is that makes them happy, and in this picture, she's holding like a black heart here. It's like, what makes my heart happy? And it's something new. It could, it's like a new situation or it's a new approach. It's seeing the potential in something. The potential for love, for communication and truth, and also some kind of stability and progress I'm hearing. Wow. So whoever's making this decision is very invested, extremely invested, which is why they're hesitant because if it goes wrong, if they get the wrong reaction, it's not going to be good. Seven of Wands, they're defensive. See how they're, they could be watching you, okay, or thinking about you quite a bit, trying to plan a, an, what happens if something goes wrong, how will I react? How they're seeing you is the Knight of Swords. What an, oh, this deck is cool. Look at that picture. This is somebody who's fighting against the truth. Okay, now, it doesn't mean that's actually how you feel, but it's how they're seeing you, which, or communication, that you're fighting against communication. You feel blocked. It's either like you feel blocked because they've disappeared or blocked you or something like that or cut communication or you feel blocked because you don't know what to say or you, you like, you know, you're not really sure how to approach, but they see you as having a battle here with the concept of truth and communication. That's what I'm seeing. I'm also seeing K and N, which is standing for night here. But it's really sticking out to me. So those initials might mean something here. 
Yeah. How they're feeling is the Four of Swords. <sighs> this feels like they've healed something. It's not exactly like whatever whoever this is wants to take a new chance. Uh, kind of, kind of. It's like all going to depend on how the other person reacts. It feels like this person's either ready to like mend something in a way that they're able to retain control. I hope this is making sense. Could be you, right? Or they're ready to just say forget it. Two of Cups. There's definitely Two of Cups and Ten of Cups. There's definitely a pull here towards you, a strong connection. But I feel like this person doesn't want to show their cards. It's almost like they're coming in here with this elaborate plan <laughs> that is going to seem so subtle just in case, you know, just in case they're rejected or just in case it doesn't work out, you're not going to understand or see the full extent of their plan, King of Cups. Yeah. So I don't think this is like a huge expression of emotion or proclamation of love or a big offer of some sort. It's going to come in or they're planning to come in stealth almost. Their intention is the devil. I don't know if this represents you as the Capricorn card or if they have some ulterior motives here. So let's clarify this a bit. What's the devil about for this person's intentions? What's the devil about for this person's intentions? Six of Swords. Two of Wands. This person is at a massive like crossroads you know it's like they just want to get away from the feeling that they have now like the moment before deciding to do something you know it's like all of this work up to this point to make a decision they don't want to feel like hesitant anymore they don't want to feel doubtful they don't want to worry worry about anything wonder about anything eight of pentacles again they don't want to work on this in their mind anymore or at this job or whatever it is they don't want to do it page of swords no they want to have like a new way of thinking about something they want to refresh their mind this hasn't been easy so it's like taking this chance here and moving towards you is an effort to clear their mind But it's not going to work like that because they don't really know how, what they want or how they actually feel. It's all going to, it's like very dependent on what you're going to do or say or act. The devil here, I think, is representing that codependent energy. For their intentions like okay well if capricorn walks away i'm i'm gonna walk away they won't even know what i have planned or if capricorn opens up then maybe i'll execute my plan but it's still like a maybe rather than someone coming in just doing what they want to do and saying what they want to say and just being very straight up real truthful honest you know external i'm hearing and it's not that tiptoeing a little bit here so they must have done something, I'm guessing, to, to get in your bad books, or at least they think they did. Again, switch it if it resonates more. Now what you should know about them, Nine of Swords, they're stressed out, <laughs> very stressed out. They think about this quite a bit, okay? This whole situation. I don't think you've like had any indication about this, maybe intuitively. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like they've put their head down. Work. Eight of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Again, I keep cutting on the same. They've been working on what they're going to do with this connection here. 
It is. <laughs> See, it's like a mirroring effect here. It's like finding out wh what your energy is so that they can embody it to like know where you stand. They could have been like, <laughs> they could have been kind of like copying your actions or mimicking you in some way here. The dream. All right, let's keep going. Your advice, the five of swords and the three of swords. Well, there's a two messages I'm getting here and it's going to be dif different for like different groups of you. The first message is if you want something to proceed with this person or this energy, whatever this represents for you. If you want something to come through, do not play any games with them. That will end in heartbreak, okay? So don't try to win. Don't try to be clever. Don't try to um, do things to avoid your ego getting hurt, basically. Don't, don't play that game, okay? Because that's going to end in heartbreak. So take that if it resonates, if, you, if you, this is something you want to play out and happen. And if it's not, and you're not really feeling this, and you don't want this to come through, or you're nervous about it, you're not sure, then the advice is remember how badly this hurt the first time this energy was around, or the first time you were engaged with these people, working at this job, or with this lover, whoever, you know, I don't know what it is. But remember the pain, because I feel like, where are you? Two of Cups again, the hangman. You're still working through something here. You're still considering something about love. Where's Capricorn and all this? The other energy. Nine of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, see, it's like Knight of Wands. You've been work Moon. You've been working through something really difficult here for a long time. Okay. Um, I feel like this person for a group of you really hurt you badly. And Spirit's saying, remember that. Remember your value and who you are. Mm -hmm. For some of you, this is definitely a soulmate situation. I saw the King and the Queen of Cups with the Two of Cups over and over again. Okay, so I have to say that. Now, the outcome is the Tower. <laughs> Looks like, as the energy stand right now, that something is going to come through. And it's going to be shocking. Someone is going to make a decision to go around that curve. And it feels like, I don't know if it's going to be them or you who's going to be shocked, but it seems like there's disruption. It's not just a like, oh, hey, nice to hear from you. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is not that. This is holy shit. Three of wands. This is... Also, High Priestess, yeah, something you've been waiting for intuitively, you've been feeling is about to come around the bend, okay? Maybe you've had your doubt whether that person was actually going to make a move, but they are, whoever this is, Ten of Cups. Okay, <laughs> let's, uh, I'm going to go into the extended, and I'm going to go even further, okay? I'm going to do like, um, I don't know, I'm just going to get deeper into this and see what's going on. I might do a you versus them see what actions they are, try to get more specific since there'll be less of you there. But let's get um, some closing cards here for those of you who are not coming along to the extended. Let's get some Moonology advice for the Capricorns here. Spirit, what do you want to give as advice for Capricorn? A fiery climax approaches. Well, I'll say with the tower. Have faith in your dreams. Be bold and make the first move. Uh-oh, Capricorn, is it you? <laughs> Luck is on your side. All right, I love you so much. I'll see you next time.